I think my brows are too dry now though. Ow, yeah, too dry. I need to take that off and do it again. Off to a great start, folks. Hey guys, it's Tina Hill. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's video, I will be laminating my eyebrows. So what is brow lamination? Well, I've only just recently heard of this term, but in short, it is an eyebrow perm. Yep, you can now get a lash lift, but for your brow hairs to give you that brushed up, bushy, supermodel brow look. I found out about this new treatment via Instagram. I was just scrolling through my feeds and I saw some really nice before and after photos. Now, just like a lash lift, the brow perm is semi-permanent. It lasts a couple weeks before your brow hairs go back to its normal state. And from what I've seen online, a lot of people combined the brow perm with a brow tint as well. That way they don't have to fill in the eyebrows afterwards. After I found out about this treatment, I really wanted to try it out myself and so I was searching everywhere online to see if anyone provided this treatment near me. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anyone, maybe because it's a fairly new treatment. And so, I thought, you know what, eh, I'll just do it myself. This could either turn out really good or it could be a complete disaster. Do you guys remember when I gave myself a lash lift? Surprisingly, that turned out pretty well, so I have high hopes for this. I'm gonna be using the same solution as I used for my lash lift. I did a quick Google online and basically it's the same perming solutions that they use for your brows. I'm not going to need the lash pads, but um, I'll need the little cleaning tool, the perming solutions. Um, and this is my actual eyelash glue from Petite Cosmetics. The one that came in this kit was rubbish and so I just replaced it with my one. Okay, here goes nothing, except my whole eyebrow. First off, I'm just going to quickly clean the area with Bioderma and a little cotton pad. Just gonna wipe that over my brows a couple times. Make sure the area is clean and I don't have makeup over it. I don't even know why I applied eyeshadow on today. There was no point. I really hope this turns out okay. I watched a couple YouTube videos. I did my Google research to find out the steps and yeah, it's really similar to the lash lift um, steps. Just obviously I don't need the lift pads or like curling or anything of my lashes. Disclaimer, just wanted to put it out there. I am not a professional, so this could go wrong. Therefore, I would advise you not to try this out at home. Just like, you know, search to see if there's a trained professional near your area that offers this brow lamination treatment. Anyway, so now that my brows are clean, I am going to apply lash glue and I'm just going to brush the hairs into place and kind of lay them down to where I want them. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this brow first. I'm just gonna brush on the glue. This is a non-latex formula and it dries clear. So then I'll be able to see exactly where my brow hairs should be placed. And then I'm just using this little tool that came with the lash perm kit. It has a comb on one side and I'm just gonna brush my hairs up. Oh, this is rubbish. This is my metal comb. I just dropped everything. Okay, I am gonna use um, a little mascara brush. Ooh, there's stuff in it. I think my brows are too dry now though. Ow, yeah, too dry. I need to take that off and do it again. The glue dried out and I cannot brush my brows. Off to a great start, folks. Great, now my brows are all crusty. Okay, let's go again with the glue. I think I'm just gonna work in like sections because the glue dries so fast. So I'm just gonna do this section first. And I'm just gonna brush the hairs upwards. And maybe like lay it flatter against my skin if I can. Whoa, that's looking a bit crazy. I didn't realize my brow hairs were so long. Okay, moving on to the middle of my brows now. I have to admit, is this is kind of looking a bit crazy. Oh, 
I'm not sure about this, guys. <sighs> My eyebrows look so crazy. So for the middle part, I'm kind of like brushing them sideways-ish. I don't want it to sit completely upright like the start of my brow. I just want it to kind of lay diagonal, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna do the ends now. Again, I don't want this part to be completely upright. I just want it to kind of lift upwards, but out to the side. So I still have like a shape there. I'm taking my time with this because Literally how I lay it down, that's how my brows are gonna be, you know, they're gonna be permed in that position. So I want to make sure all the hairs are in place and where I want it to be. Okay, so I'm done laying down this brow. I'm quite happy with the shape. I just wish I had a couple more hairs down here, but um, I've always had sparse hairs down there, so I'll just have to fill them in. Now I have to do the same with this side. I actually have less hair on this side, so I don't know how this is gonna look. I actually like how this side looks a lot better than this side. I think because I just need to clean up down here a little bit, but this one actually has a much nicer shape. Okay, so this is what my brows are looking like at the moment. This side definitely looks a lot better than this side. This side is just like, what the? I think afterwards I'll just need to like tweeze down here because I have more sparse hairs there. But uh, yeah, I guess I shall move on to the next step and apply the perming solution. So this is the little vial of perming solution. Yeah, it smells like a perming solution. I'm actually going to apply this with a brush, just like an eyebrow brush. So I'm just going to apply the solution on top of my hairs. Just following the direction that I've laid it down because I don't really want to move any of those hairs too much. So far so good, it feels okay, it doesn't really feel like anything, it's just wet and it smells like a perming solution. This is way easier than perming my lashes. Last time it was so difficult to just get my eyelashes in place and then manoeuvre the lifting pads. And because I only had one eye open that time, I'm looking really crazy. Um, now I just need to cover it up. I've got some cling wrap. And then I'm just gonna cover up my brows with cling wrap. Like so. <laughs> and I'm gonna leave this on for about eight to 12 minutes. The things I do on the internet. It's been 10 minutes now, so I'm just going to remove this. Ugh. Oh. The smell of the perming solution is so strong. And then I'm just gonna use a little like disposable mascara wand and just like remove that layer of perming solution. And then I'm just gonna wipe over that with a little cotton tip. And then I'm gonna pop on solution number two. This is fixation. Again, I'm just going to brush this on top. This is going to neutralize the perming solution. And again, I'm going to cover it up with some cling wrap. And then I'm going to wait another 10 minutes. There's literally no turning back now. I feel like what's done is done. Let's just pray that 
my brow hairs don't fall off and it looks somewhat decent. Alrighty, I'm going to remove this now and then I'm just going to remove that solution. So far, my brow hairs are not falling out just yet, so that's a good sign. This might actually work. Next, I'm going to pop on this little nutrition solution. It looks like, like oil. The cap just popped off and fell into my top. Got it. I'm going to try not to spill this because it's oil. And I'm just going to apply that on. I may have rubbed my eyebrows a little bit too hard with that nutrition solution. My skin's gone a little bit red, but that's just because I rubbed it too hard. It doesn't irritate or anything. And then finally, I'm going to apply number four, which is like a cleansing solution. I'm actually feeling quite nervous. You can see all that like eyelash glue is starting to ball up. So my brows are all clean now and I've just quickly brushed them and this is what they look like. It's different, I'll say that. I'm definitely not used to seeing myself with brushed up brows like this. It worked. It totally worked. My brow hairs are actually upright without any gels or like soap or pomade in them. On this side, I did clean up underneath a little bit and it looks a lot better now. It has more definition and shape. I think it will definitely look a lot better once I fill them in, um, especially because, you know, I have sparse areas here and there, but it wasn't a disaster. I actually quite like it. Here's a before and after shot so you guys can see the difference. Overall, I'm actually really happy with the end results. It's not bad for a DIY. Imagine what it would look like if I actually went to a trained professional. If you guys go and get this done, I would definitely recommend you get a brow tint with it. I think, you know, that will just solve the problem with these like little sparse areas. It will just make your brows look a lot fuller and you don't have to fill them in afterwards. I would say that doing a brow lamination is a lot easier than doing a lash lift on yourself just because there's a lot of variables that can go wrong with a lash lift and you've got like one eye open when you're doing it. Whereas with the brow perm, it's pretty straightforward. You don't have anything obstructing your vision and it's fairly easy to do. However, if you're not confident in doing it yourself, I would definitely recommend seek a trained professional. Hopefully in the next few months, you'll see a lot more places offer this service because I feel like it's actually gonna be really popular. I feel like thick brows are here to stay and this is a great alternative to eyebrow tattooing or eyebrow feathering. It's painless, it's semi-permanent so you don't have to like commit to this shape or this style of brow forever. Anyways, that is it from me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye.